And, and now they have been targeting me by releasing a voice note I recorded a few years ago for medical purposes. Now, is more now responding to the public regarding the voice note that was played at Brekete. Remember, many of us had asked, in fact, a lot of people overlooked that voice note. I think it was VD, very dark black man. Sorry, I don't know if it's very black, very dark, any one shall, you shall know the guy and the macho guy. Uh, that guy, I think he was the one that actually laid emphasis. And this that voice note was what erupted DNA. That voice note was what erupted DNA. And this was after this lover had exhausted his or her uh, accusation that it was alleged that it was Naira, Mali, Sam Larry, and Prime Boy via Sam Larry, via um, Sam, uh, no, no, Naira Mali was the one that sent Prime Boy to Prime Mobad via uh, jazz, that he, he, he used jazz. You understand? So, this part. And now they have been targeting me by releasing a voice note I recorded a few years ago for medical purposes. Remember Karimo told us, oh her, she said that recording was re released by Mumi's friend who is jealous of her. I expected Mumi to have put it there and my best friend because what Karimo said was that Wumi kept this this voice note with the friend to keep. Then she released it to the world because she's jealous of Wumi. I thought we've gone past this stage. Do you understand? I do not expect that it is now after over five months that Wumi will then say and now they have been targeting me by releasing a voice note I recorded a few years ago for medical purposes. They are attacking our only child by libeling him as an illegitimate. Okay? In that area, I wouldn't lie and act as if I have not been seeing people saying that i would not say it's not true it started from kemi olun lawyer alleged a dna was carried out in dubai followed by very dark black man who also said on seeing that voice note he is of the belief that a dna needs be carried out on Liam. And this was how it escalated. From their fans, it spread, it spread, it got to people like us. In the beginning, we were not interested. You understand? Until later, you know, Baba himself now said on BBC that since that's what people want, he too thinks it is okay that they carry out a DNA. You understand? So, we, we we are aware of that. They are attacking anyway. I don't know. They are attacking is too harsh. Yes, libeling, but attacking, no. I do not think anybody have attacked Liam. I personally, I do not think so. But if it is true, God knows the truth. My husband was messed up mentally, psychologically, and physically. If he had continued speaking publicly about his challenges, perhaps he would still be alive today. That is none, no of this fault here. That is the fault of you, him, if his parents, if they are aware. But that is not the public's fault. This is the reason why everybody is now asking me what happened that took the life 
of your husband on the 12th or 11th of September, what happened? Because in all these parts, we here, we were not involved. We do not know anything. We are completely clueless. And that is the reason why in the first place, Naira Mali, whom this lover said, not a time as Wumi mentioned that Naira Mali Samlari has have anything from in the we are, line of Mo. But we have been saying the only this that Wumi is trying to she cover has mentioned ah. is take your trophy. Now you have paid. Uh, they should take their trophy. Who are the day? We don't know. Next is when Adura said, Cynthia told him when the judge in the corona inquest asked him, ah, him sorry, who, who would you think paid Mobad? He then said, Prime boy. But you were not there. Why do you say that? Cynthia told me. So, we know about people that take your trophy. It was GLB that put the dots together for us. And so, it was directed to Naira Mali, Sam Larry, and then eventually Prime Boy. In fact, the only person we can say directly, who may have said, True Adura pied her husband is prime boy. If I am cor or not correct, panel, please take note of all these points. So those are the people we know. Am I making sense that Wumi have said, especially prime boy, prime boy, in fact, in the inquest, prime boy is the suspect. When they went to release prime boy, the people that released Prime Boy were accused by those that know Wumi that they went to release the suspect, the people that paid Mubad. So it is Prime Boy that really Wumi is holding on to. Now, my husband was messed up mentally. Okay, I passed that. If he had continued speaking publicly about his challenge, perhaps he would still be alive today. I wish he had summoned the courage to come public as many times as he could, but he didn't want anyone to see his vulnerability. He was a gentle and calm soul. Thank God for that. But you regretted. Didn't you regret? If nobody regretted, on your behalf, we all regretted he did that. Then why have you kept quiet of who pied Mubad? If you know that Mubad's quiet, calm spirit, not speaking up, is what took his life, then you are so sure of what took his life, then why aren't you speaking up? Simple why did it take you so that. long to even say somebody when your sister said it's your best friend, why didn't you put a disclaimer out to debunk it that no, that's not true? You said someone. You said some what? They have been. Who are the people? Who are the they targeting me? Who are the they? Who are the they? Now, I wish he had someone there and you said so. Making a man feel inferior, making him feel him live in fear, assaulting him publicly, amongst other is what they subjected my husband to. Who are the people? It was Sam Nairamali. And nobody, no video. Even when Sam La uh, Nairamali was spoke where was when he was in London or where was he? In Paris or so so place. And he was saying to the Nigeria police for that if they can protect him, he should come back home to Nigeria and help in what? finding what took the life of Mo. You are alive, Mumi. Who are you referring to? Who are the people? No video anywhere has shown that at any point did that Nairamali guy seen Mo. And that video they said you people threw into the world for us. They said it, it took place last year, 2023. 
more died to no sorry upper year 2022 june or so the one for ndla the one for attack in this but more died september a year more than a year after in his home is it the same people that came to that home his case is a case of homicide because as at the last time i checked and from what we heard from you people it was that he went to the hospital and the hospital declared him dead on arrival so how do we understand that and we only saw one video of sam larry whom you claim you don't know exactly he's the only one i even saw him attempt he's implicating it as to well. attack i uh yeah yeah tabi was dying yeah you know their names are very for you yeah tabi was i a lot tabi his friend he was i was even thinking they were sitting on a wheelchair i didn't know that i don't know if they disguised to enter that place but they sat down the two of them we saw elderly women then they came from nowhere and that was what we saw we didn't see the end it was we were told that they reconciled that issue that day but you claim you don't even know sam larry they asked you but sam larry when he eventually when people were they wanted to lynch him when people they were cursing after you said take your trophy and this lover told us it's sam larry and koda fight mobad he eventually came out from his hiding place and swore telling us that we should ask for me his wife how much he loves that you are aware how much he loves your husband but you are claiming you you refuse to acknowledge knowing him so who are these people you are referring to because for me i thought we have gone past this imaginary people then you furthermore said i begged him to speak out but he felt powerless against the influence of the industry gods now this is where i mean i i titled my chat umi you said i begged him to speak out but he felt powerless against the influence of the industry gods if you all remember naira mali came to nigeria abi he was detained abi industry gods which industry are you talking about the music industry and you used a small g if you are talking about naira mali but i saw you we all saw you with abu ebel abu ebel you you are you are you have good rapport with abu ebel isn't it abu ebel that you took to go and talk to ayat you still have good connection rapport with them abu ebel is the godfather of naira mali so i'm lost who are the industry gods which industry the only thing we know about mo is that he's into music so who are you referring to as the industry gods can you please let us know because everybody is lost we've gone past this stage we we'll made a confused people you told us prime boy pied mo now you are saying industry gods i'm confused is it prime is prime boy an industry god easy as far as i know prime boy sorry uh, with due respect a lot of boys okay he's still like the case of the rich man and lazarus as far as these people are concerned no is it prime boy whom you said to your brother-in-law adura that by your husband is it the industry god because I am confused. Who are the indo Why are you defending Prime Boy? Go and ask Google. Go inside Google and go and ask. Oba, go inside Google and go and ask why. I, I don't know the defense. Is Prime Boy an is he is he is, is Prime Boy an industry god? It is a question. Because when we are when you are talking, you have to always listen. To yourself and say ah mind you this thing i'm going to throw out to the world we have people that are intelligent that will reason this thing i have to remember that i have put out some things before 
they are going to check with what you have put out and correspond it and see and say, ah, where is the industry gone? Because the one we remember is that you said through Adura that it is Prime Boy that buys more. So is Prime Boy the industry god? Help us so that we can help you. Yes, so that we can help you. Because right now, we want to know who the industry gods are. If you're talking about the musical world, the industry, you are close to Abu Ebel. You are. You wanted to show how close you are. It was Abu Ebel that was even trying to make sure that he detached himself from you. But you, you were, you, you rolled, you, you, you talked. You talked, you flow. So, industry gods, please, uh, panel, write that, write that, write that down. You then went further by saying Mobad would have sought medical treatment after his injury if he didn't live in constant fear. If you all remember, Abi is not Mobad. Some of the videos you people sent out to us when he was attacked by NDLA or he, he went to save you and Nadura from NDLA, Mo was in the hospital. He was explaining on the hospital bed. I don't want to die, yo. They shouldn't kill him, mo. Ah, Jesu. Ah, like uh, Sanya. Be what's that one's name? Zubi. Be what's that one that sings? Zayon. Ah, Obi Ah, they gave him something. He drank. He lost his memory. He was in the hospital, and he was talking. He had so much anxiety. He was in so much panic. Maybe that's what you meant. Ah, ah. Oh, you people are not tapping. Oh, you people are not tapping. This talk TikTok as you are not tapping. What they said I did something on my TikTok. They said uh, they are not tapping. They will be when I'm talking. Oh, they are not tapping. They are not doing anything. They will be looking Can at me. Can we tap, please? Can we tap on they TikTok? Are not tapping. Please, let's okay. tap. They said that I there's one setting on my this. You have to teach me how to do it. Me or Moshe. Beshen wo me zin zin eh eh zino to be eh eh zino eh eh. Ye ye Judy, thank you. Because we share more all their names. So tip on you. I just know that you people will know. I have to start all over again. They are not tapping. They don't tap. They they said if they are not tapping, that's what happened. It was hand. Yeah, and you did not think with all what even if you, anything could you, anything you, you don't think the best place is to take it to the hospital if you people were good you don't think the best thing is to 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 draw water down and say no oh my hospital but in the end did you people eventually carry into the hospital that same hospital we eventually carried him to the hospital and they told you people, you people brought him dead on arrival. That's what happened. You eventually, when you saw that the thing, you saw him harmed and you saw, they, you, they claim he was bleeding profusely. You didn't think he should go to the hospital then. You didn't think he should throw water down and be shouting, hey, by me. Eh? Neighbor, go to your neighbor and say, my husband is not agreeing, he's not feeling well. Where the industry gods, where they wish you the people in the house, mm. stopping you people from taking him. Where they, were they anywhere around you people? Were they the ones that harmed Mo? Is Prime Boy an industry god? Because I want to understand what you, who you refer to as industry gods. I want to understand that part. People eventually took him to the hospital. The hospital were the ones that certified that he's gone. And you can, you people were able to call someone that probably you be, you you didn't believe in. Your husband didn't believe in hospital or he was scared of birth hospital. But you people were able to call a quack nurse. For him, and you actually didn't go 
you you claim you don't know the person but you got the number from spending and you people called a quack a quack nurse and more allowed you to do that you were in charge as the mother the wife of your husband the onus is on you you are a big girl 24 is no more a baby you are an adult you couldn't draw rain draw fire we are when you people didn't get the nest, is it still the industry gods that are playing here? Where did the industry gods, where, what part did they play in this matter? And who are they? The ones we know, they have been built. In fact, the time they bullied Mo, till the time Mo died, they said it's far apart. They cannot add it up to the time Mo died. Ote Pai Ote Gino Sira. And Mo was still getting endorsed for different things. As far as we heard. In fact, he still went to London through Yabo Joe's husband to go and play. Even though the, 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 the rumors had it that Naramari, he even said it. He said it in one show that these people go to uh, people or the other uh, Truth. your favorite fake activists who are the fake activists and bloggers can continue defaming me nobody has defamed you who me I, to the, the last time i checked imagine yeah yeah anytime we meet have us, seen get many of us water. still asking you always come out to drop quotes anytime we have those they meet them but they they eat them hard you will come out and drop quotes that's the lifestyle of me on you this platform i don't know about many others but i can tell that a lot of people they are still asking you what really happened what he, if you say the court is a minor court nurse who was in kotonu why if it wasn't a big deal the my court was minor you massage it and it was good spending after all came back with you people from the show if pending had seen any profits bleeding like the police so claim i guess we would have heard it in fact if not for later you people didn't mention to us that spending was in the car you adura and co it was in the key quest that we discovered that adura was not even in the car he said so it was later we discovered that spending was in the car so if he had seen more bleeding if he had seen something serious happened as you, you people said, as this lover said, at least by now, we will be understanding where we are going to. He's spending to an industry god because he was also remanded in custody. Then why did you people call the nurse? Why do you people have to wait for the nurse if there was profits bleed according to the police? Why did you wait? If mobile was in danger that much, why did you wait? Why did you people wait, wait, wait? It was a matter of urgency. You would have just simply taken your husband to save his life. Is sits the gods again that stopped you people from doing the needful. I know a lot. Okay, your favorite, okay. But I pray God rewards them for their actions. Amen. If they eventually kill me too, why? Why will they buy you? What will make them buy you? Nobody will buy me. Haven't you thought, thought about this thing? Think about it. It's just my own out of record. At your age, at the age of 24, you carried a five months old baby. Your husband was going to such a rough place for a concert, a rough place. Why did you follow him with your baby, Liam, to such a rough place? 
Why? Think about it. Have you been doing that before? I'm just thinking outside the box now. Have you? Have you been doing that before? Why did you follow him to the concert with a baby? Why did you follow him? Is it the industry gods that told you to go with him, with baby Liam? Or was there an issue between the two of you that made you feel you must follow him to the concert? As a matter of fact, when Prime Boy was asked, did he, did you come down from the car? Yeah, according to Prime Boy. When they got to the concert, he said, no, no traces of you at all on the field where they had the concert. So you were surely in the car and you love Liam so much. You live for Liam, definitely. Then why did you carry him, followed your husband to a concert and you carry that little boy to talk to would have been your father-in-law? And tell him, but the only thing you told him, you advised him that he should take him to where Omaro, what do they call for? He said, no, it's not 45. Uh, well, what's the English name of Omaro? You told him, you advised him to go and do that to your husband. And the man, of course, was clueless. Uh, I've evoked or avenged, thank you. Your 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 husband. He didn't he didn't know what you meant, he didn't he didn't agree to it. That was the only thing you told him. You would have told him, Daddy, you go buy no shelly. But brother, you ran to Falano. And so, is it Falano? Is he the, the industry god? You should have at least told Falano. The people that buy more. He, uh -uh. You should have at least told Falano now. And this is, he, if Falano can't help you, then what are we talking about here? You should have at least expressed yourself to Falano. You ran to him. He will be able to find those people, call people for you. When eventually, then he will. He will. If in quest you cannot tell them, this one cannot tell them, so the people just shout, shouting to you, do DNA, waiting by mobile. So they are the ones that want to buy you. And you are saying it out. With and they don't know waiting by your husband. And you are saying that the people asking you that, oh, do DNA. Oh, do they are the ones because as far as I'm concerned, those are the two things they're asking you to do. Do DNA and waiting by your husband. What happened on the eleventh and twelfth? of September. You people are eyewitnesses. I call you people the potential prime suspects. Potential ones. Because it's a homicide case. You people were the only ones around him. You and the people that you said are 15. The people with him. You are the only ones that then told us according to Adura that you said this person bite your husband. You said you are helpless. I am helpless, but I know God will see me through. Amen. I want the whole world to know that I tried to speak up, just as my husband always wanted to, but they bullied into silence as they are currently doing to me. Then speak up. Speak up. You have lawyer Falano. In fact, this thing you wrote out now is the same thing you wrote out in the beginning and we went past it. We were lucky. It affected the credibility of this lover. Your case is what affected the credibility of this lover because he took us that far. In the end, they eventually took this lover, I'm sorry, prime, um, well, yeah, these people, Naramali, Samlari, um, and this guy, Prime Boy. But they were bailed. Do you know that if you are a criminal and they find it that all the 
investigation done by the police links them it is not possible they would have charged them to court but they've done some investigation and they find those people not culpable yet that is why they were granted bail you gave them the direction of their suspect this lover did it affected the credibility of this lover are you making sense from it so now you are saying that they buy your wife husband eh, you are you are bringing us back to the same way you said this yeah i am I'm, i am assuming is the people that you said they should they should take their trophy you are referring to it's as a, it's an assumption from me but it's better from you to say it talk to lawyer falano your father will you know would have been your best bet but you chose him as your enemy but you have forgotten one thing if not for him you will never know or see who is so bad this is your sweetheart now a calm gentle soul if not for baba mobad there will not be anybody like him on the surface of this earth he is the vassal himself and mama mo that god used to bring that boy into the world so no matter how you you distaste him from your right up <laughs> he's still the one that brought that boy into the world you should be thankful and grateful to him because after the dna as far as we know for now liam is mobile's child or except it is proven otherwise you understand that boy bears a loba and that man remains a loba if not for him it's his offspring you are carrying i don't know how you will despise your father-in-law so much forgetting that you have their fruit with you and everything mobad left behind if not for baba mobad that gave birth to him you will never ever see anything like that all the money you are spending huh, is for more exactly it's most money that's what it is my head and that's the bad money which they spend i did bust my head you are enjoying from the offspring of aloba he had with some clear now make she refuse to do the you owe it to them too just as much as they will owe it to you for give bringing forth a baby for them but you owe it to baba muba for giving you that genius that glorious boy that didn't live long you owe it to them and they also owe it to you for giving them a grandchild until it is proven otherwise exactly yeah, yeah. you would have gone to him Very right. he would have been the one to help you because when you confide in him and say daddy and you talk um, um, they will then all this plan that you want to use you want to travel out now and i won't go no my process here i won't go no my process here you won't need all this letter writing out hi let me just turn this on sorry Justice from the Hi back. everyone, hi Yekudi, how, how are you? <laughs> so good to see you. Oh wow, look at Lady Ryan. I know, right? <laughs> mwah, you, mwah, mwah. I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Yekudi, for having us here. It's been um it's been a journey. We're all a family at this point. Um we extend our family membership also to well, me, you know, and every other person. We're not here to hate, we're just here to find out the truth and the, the truth is very bitter very bitter but a lot of things have been coming out and a lot of people have actually have their own um you know take on this and so we're not going to leave any stone unturned right um i want to start with the rumors you know that um he was on drugs you know um you know we, we want you to prove them wrong we're here to also fight for you Umi, because the first time this thing happened you took to social media and you said a lot of stuff you said that oh they have you know by the, uh, your your late husband they have by the nigger you know now you have your trophy and it became quickly very disturbing and a lot of us including myself came out quickly to support you we held candlelight and everywhere you know the whole world came out now you know if you're talking about um the rumors that you heard um you also talked about the fact that he was bullied everywhere and all of that and that was what we were looking at we supported you to that point these are the people who bullied your husband right so at the inquest we were expecting you to call their names 
but the only person's name that you actually said by your husband was actually um prime boy there was never a time you mentioned that he was going through a lot these people you know in this write-up i don't want to believe that you wrote this i want to believe that people wrote it someone wrote it for you on your behalf but based on the things that you have said okay because you also mentioned some of these things to when you were you know angry with baba you know you sent him some stuff we know okay now the funny thing is that everything that is happening to you right now is public even the people who feel that they are supporting you or, or, or on your side or whatever um, way they want to put it right it's still public i want you to understand that that is still public and whatever is public is public the world will treat it as public okay now, I want to mention certain things that you said here. Um, I'll start first with the recording that you said that, oh, something that you did many years ago. But remember, the recording showed what type of relationship you had with your husband, your late husband. Now, every marriage is not perfect. We go through a lot. People go through a lot in their marriages. But it showed quickly how he was not happy with you. Certain things that he said in that recording, which was leaked out. Your sister, Karimo, I will tell you the truth, did not do you any good she's your sister but the truth is she said the truth she came to um um what's his name but daddy freezes life and she spoke about the relationship and that was the first time i i heard your sister she said she categorically please go and play it back she said something about your argument with mo you guys were always arguing you it was toxic at some point you almost left she had to plead with you to stay back she had to beg you to stay with him so he you guys went through that so, you know, I know we all want to paint it that it was rosy and all of that. But remember, he too was talking to his father. Remember, he was also telling his father. You had people who you guys were talking to, especially Karimo, that you will call and Karimo will tell you what to do. He had mental health issues and all of that. Not only the fact that you accused people who were saying all of those things, but also your sister accused Mo of having mental health issues okay that he was not himself he was forgetting things and all of that what naira mali said was what your sister said okay now it's it's a bit contradictory this was the same person who have been out of the country remember these lyrics he was singing up until the time he he he, he lost his life right two days after he was invited he spoke very well he was there he sang i have the videos he was singing he remembered his lyrics you know so you guys are not even helping matter saying that he was uh, mentally you know not stable okay he had he, your sister said he was she was actually telling you what to give him to take and you were saying during your time when you were talking to baba in your discussion your message you sent to him or rather the message that he that you you called him right the recording you said to him you know you were feeding um uh, mobad the same way you were feeding leah that mobad was not sleeping he was obviously going through stress and you said it again here that he was running away from certain people Umi, who are those people my questions will be who okay you know, you said, who, I, I, I want to know, who made him live in fear, assaulting him, making him feel afraid? Who were those people? He also followed uh, Paul, you know, overseas to sing, and he was scared. You, you being the wife, you know those people. He's told you about those people. The family is saying, you don't need to tell the public. You don't need to tell anybody. Talk to the father. Talk to the family. Speak to Falana talk to them and tell them the people that because at the inquest you never mentioned these people the only person you mentioned was prime boy was he prime boy that was assaulting him was he prime boy he was afraid of was he prime boy that was hitting his head up and down everywhere was he prime boy because what you was you two said here you talked about the industry dog the musical industry dogs who are these people are you afraid to speak are you afraid? Are you in fear of any form of shape? Who are these people you're talking about? You know, you said the last time that he was attacked, you begged him to speak. Who? The last time they attacked him, it's written here. Who are these people? And when was this last time he was attacked? When? So you know who, 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 me? We want to help you. Who are these people that you know that Baba Mubad doesn't know about? Or does Baba Mubad know about them? Let us know. Let us also ask Baba Mubad, does Baba Mubad know the people who are attacked him the last time? Please, when is this last time you're talking about? The last time. When was this? Is it before he died? 
was it on the on the on on that Sunday on a Monday on a Tuesday when when was the this your the last time the last time he was attacked what time are you talking about we want to know we're trying to help you are you afraid of some people are you afraid of someone some people you're calling only uh, um, um, crime boy how about the people you're speaking about Who, what, what was that last time i'm going to underline those things the last time you spoke he, he was attacked you begged him to speak up who you also said that he didn't want to go to the hospital the moment that i saw i know he's your husband but the whole world saw the the, the video when um he went through what he went through with mdlea the first place Moba ran to was the hospital to get his system flushed of whatever he drank. We still have that video where he was crying. He was crying. They only gave me, only me drank it. Did he not go to that hospital? They gave him something to flush his system. Moba was afraid. But to say that he's afraid that they will still come to that hospital and do what they want to do. And so he's now, uh, he has retired to staying in the house to treat himself. He's still died in the house. That's the irony. He was running hey, from the hospital. Boss man, look at boss man. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was, he was boss man's face. <laughs> he was running Don't from the hospital. I want to see boss man's face. <laughs> Ah, uh, they can't see it. Oh, oh I want to show uh -huh. you something. Oh, there, oh let us talk now. Don't worry, I'm going to come to my live video. And okay, so fast. here he is. He could have just made you. He could have just made you shy. You. Because you have to show you. Okay, the boss man doesn't like the limelight. <laughs> So I know, right? <laughs> sorry, you sorry know. for the distraction. It's okay. You know. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Benisha. It's like Bossman is a fine man. He's a fine man. Everybody wants to see Bossman. He's here. You can see him. He's gonna he turn on his camera and he's gonna do that here live on the Ekudisa <laughs> show. You know, we decided to do that. You know, so at least you guys know who is talking. We've been talking. We have no qualms open at opening our camera. We're right. We're real. You know, we have a right to talk about this, just like any other person has a right. And we also have a right to, um, you know, turn off our camera. But moving forward, um, you know, we're exercising our rights, just like Wumi is exercising her right, just like Baba is exercising his rights, you know, to ask for a DNA as a result of the things that have been happening, the false narrative circulating on social media. I want to say this first. Um, when, when Wumi said something, or rather when the, the write-up that came out said, um, you know, um, he could have asked personally for the DNA. It would have been nice to ask DNA personally. But you see, this man has been stoned, battered in public. It has been on social media. Everything you see has been on social media. Your sister was the first person who came to social media to throw that stone. And I quote, and I'm going to say this. She said that she called Baba when Mo, uh, Mo passed, okay? And that she was begging Baba. I was begging him. I was begging Baba. I said you should not bury him. I said you should not bury Mo. I said you should wait. I was begging him. Ah, ah, everybody took to social media. Ah, ah, wicked man. Hey, eh, not only did he bury... On that same social media, Wumi, where were you? Where were you to... At least you could write on your, on your walls. You could have said, please do not blame my father-in-law. He took the decision based on this, based on that. You never came out to defend him. You allowed your sister bully Baba by that single word that she said. Baba was bullied. Baba was dragged. Everybody felt that Baba was giving some amount of money to quickly bury his son. Baba Ole, greedy man. He collected money. People, the conspiracy started, start, started. Remember, Baba has not been on social media. Baba does not even know how to use social media. The man had done what he wanted to do, took his fates like that. But everybody started jabbing at him. They came for him. Because your sister, Karimo, Karimo, you came out and said you pleaded with Baba. But Baba went ahead and buried him, making Baba look like a monster. Making Baba look like the bad person. Making Baba look like he forced his child into a, a coffin that was not his size. And none of you came out to debunk this, even though you could use social media, even though you could go to social media and say the nigger, re always referring to your husband as the nigger. Umi, if you don't know what a nigger is, please Google it. A nigger for a man who has passed. You could think it's funky. 
you could think it's something a, a slang that you please google it don't just use words because you feel you can it's not coming from a place of love i can assure you that the nigger your sister started this Karimo did it. Karimo said all of these things. And now everything started spiraling out of control. People started asking questions. People said, Is it, oh, Baba Mubad, you did this to your son. You also broke his neck. You, follow, you know, so many things. Buried him quickly. Ah, even went to meet the ballet. I heard when they said he went to meet a ballet or, uh, in a place that they should give him a place to quickly bury his son. Ah, this man, he has hand in this. He did this. Every of those things came out and I never heard your voice. Not you not your sister none of you came out your sister instigated this on social media on daddy freeze's show to be precise so so now you want him to ask you the issue of dna personally did you remember how very dark man came out and so many people started coming out and the word that they said you're a transformer did not come from baba it came from so many things that you knew naramali you knew samilari it came from all of that okay and baba had the need to say okay when you now went to the inquest you were talking about the placenta you had a personal vendetta with baba with the placenta you brought it up not baba you brought the placenta issue up and for now baba thought about it okay you're bringing up the placenta okay so that means you've had a problem because you stated here that you never had the issue of uh, uh, um, paternity never came up it was never questioned when your husband was still alive but the truth is the issue of placenta came up that's paternity that is paternity and so it is in his right now that his son has passed to be very sure that liam is his child it's just common sense you may not like him you may not have a fantastic relationship with baba or his family because you can remarry and have other children but do you know what other children would do to liam you don't know you need to make sure it's now your responsibility I don't know if you want to if you don't want to do the dna it's totally up to you but there's there are repercussions the other children that you will have if god gives you more the other children the family you'll be married into the people that you will be with they will ask liam your son that question that handsome boy that is growing we pray and i pray through the power of the holy spirit i pray that that is mobad son so that at least we also can love him and carry him endlessly as we want to do with Lee, with Mobad. I pray, regardless of where this goes to, he's a minor and it's not his fault. We'll continue to love him. So don't be afraid, okay? Don't be afraid. I, I believe you and I trust you. I believe you. I want you to know that I believe that that little handsome sunshine is Mobad's son. Don't do it for anybody. Do it for your son. Choose, um, choose a time, choose a time frame. It may not be now. Do it at your own leisure, at your own time, when you're comfortable, when you want to, you can do it. Not for anybody, but for Liam. Because everybody you see on social media, after this, they will stay back. Liam will grow. Liam will grow to have girlfriend, have fiance, get married. That's when all of these things will begin to pop up. Please, I beg you, for Liam's sake, do it. God bless you so much. No need and to I want to say her. something. No need you to have asked her. for the DNA to be done. You said you will do it. It's written here boldly. You will do it. Please do it. Baba has asked. Please do it. You've asked him to go legal. You've asked him to go. I want you to understand that regardless of what the decision is, if Baba does this and you come back to say, no, you won't do it, it's not going to be nice. It's not going to look nice because I know that part of the reason why people are pushing you, especially people who are advising you, they're asking you to do this is for them to have something to show that, um, um, Baba, you ask, you ask that, um, um, I've heard people say, oh, Baba, so that when the boy grows up, he will know what his father did to him. Let me tell you what will happen when the boy grows up. He will tell you, thank you very much, mommy. At least you showed me who my real father is. God will bless you so much. It's not, forget what they're telling you. They're lying to you. They want problem. I've seen things happen on TikTok. People have hit people's head just because they, of the way they feel, the way people have gone through things that you don't know, Wumi, that they don't want Liam to go through. They are things that would have saved Liam and be happy. Some people are not happy that you want to do it for Liam. I am telling you the truth. They know. 
that the beauty about it is just for him to now regardless of what you do you cannot stop even if baba decides no he's not going to go what will you stop the world will still put that on there you know what i mean they will not call him a lover i'm telling you the truth they will the people will feel <laughs> there is always that shaky thing about it so you owe your son that a, 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 a an identity you cannot force what you cannot give you can't force if the family is asking not the crowd not the people the family the last name he bears is Aloba. if the family is asking i think it is only right for you to do it and give it to the family and say yeah i've proven to you that this is your son you can't fight them if they decide okay that's your you don't want to do it okay that's fine do you know what will happen have you ever thought about it if today baba Mubad says no nah, i don't care <laughs> it's okay do you think Liam will not go and visit Baba? Do you think he will not go and see? Because he's the only child. And that's the only legacy you have. And that's the only connection to Baba and you. Or Mobad Mo Mo and you. Don't you think you will not be able to control the boy you're trying to control today? He gets to a particular age. You won't be able to control him. He will enter car. He will drive. That place you said he should not go. He will go. He will go and see his grandfather. And if his grandfather tells him at that time. If he's, everybody's still here and God help us. You know, Baba, what happened? The grandfather will say it. Even if the grandfather doesn't say it, people will say it and he will come and ask. He said, boy, is a man. It's going to be a man. A lady, a girl will get married and hide and go under her husband's name. But he wants to know if truly that's it. And you owe him that. We love you, Liam. We'll continue to love you. You're a minor. It's not your fault. We will continue to love you the way we love Mobad. And we will protect you as much as we can. Amen. Amen. Thank you. That's all I have for now. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so thank you so much. Thank you, Lady Right. God thank bless you. you. That was Amen. awesome. Thank you. Um, please, please, please K, can you do two? Please, please. people smile. Right done. Well done, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, it's like I usually say that it's um, this is um, it's very, very sad that um, Umi is not, is just. Um, Acting, and uh, many people are making her feel as if she can not want any explanation. And you know, I usually ask, or I want to ask, if the tables were to be turned, if if it were with me that was in Mubad's shoes, you know that you know that our enemy died like that, or um, you know why like that, would Mubad feel not to be accountable, or would Mubad, what would Mubad tell? you know, our parents. Are well, we going to say that Mubad should not, you know, explain to the parents, you know, what really happened? It is a normal thing that it is, it has nothing to do with family. It is a normal thing that whenever anybody, you know, anything, even if it is not, you know, case of um, demise, even if it is accident in the house, even if it is something, you still have, you know, that responsibility to explain to the parents of that child. Even if it's a house help, you still have to still explain to them that this is, you know, this is what went wrong. And, you know, failure to explain um, things like that, then it raises suspicious. Anybody can think about that because our case is just like, and it's, even, it's really provoking, to be honest. It's just like asking your child, what happened? And she's just looking at you like, you know, 